Ash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Stella. It is 8.16 a.m. And Stella just jumped on the bed to get some pets. Hello, Stella. Did you have a nice night? Want to say hello? Stella says hello. Good morning, Splash. Good morning, Simba. Simba jumped on the bed this morning. I've given him a lot of pets already. And yesterday, I took the runner off of the top of the shelf, and um, it's in the wash. Um, I washed this along with the uh, covering that I use for the cat carrier and um, a few of the other uh, cat blankets that were in the cat tower. I just wanted to uh, put all that in the wash and then I put them in the dryer and they still weren't dry um, by the time I was going to bed yesterday. So um, I ran them in the dryer again. Hopefully they're dry this morning. Good morning, Boo. So Boo slept on the bed all night and I did not notice him getting up at all, so I think he slept straight through the night. He has not been running to the litter box every 10 minutes. I mean, other than using it yesterday, I haven't seen him use it again yet. He is still under observation, and he will be under observation all day today. It's kind of good that this happened when it did, because I... I do have two straight days that I could stay home and watch him. It's unfortunate I had to cancel my trip, but um, Boo's more important, right, Boo? It is 8.30 a.m., and I am preparing Boo a little snack. It's basically just a little bit of chicken baby food with three drops of these kidney and bladder herbs uh, mixed in there for him. He's been, he's been on these herbs for a few days now, so... Um, Gonna continue that. Eat your treat, Boo. I have to keep Stella and Simba away from this. I just give Stella a little bit to try. She's happy now and I give some to Simba, but he doesn't want it. This is yesterday's vet bill. Uh, the total came to $298.42. So that includes the office visit, the emergency office visit, which was $190. The fluid therapy, which is sub-Q given by a technician, was $34. Uh, Prozacin, um, 0.5 milligram mini melt tabs uh, were 22.10, and the Buprenex, 0.3 milligrams dispensed, um, was 47.40. All totaled was 298.42. Um, now I decided to let them give me the medication so I could take it home and observe Boo, and you know if he's getting worse or it looks or if he looks like he needs it, then I could give it to him. But he's been acting perfectly normal since coming home, um, so I have not given him the medication. This is what the Prazosin looks like. They are tiny little pills. 
And this is what the Buprenix looks like. Um, they are syringes. And for the syringes, uh, it says keep it away from light, so they give it to you in this dark packaging. Once again, I would like to thank all of the patrons of the Lucky Ferals for your monthly donations. All of the funds have been put aside for the cats in a special bank account, and this is why I save them as an emergency fund. So when something like this happens, I know that I have enough funds specifically set aside for situations like this. And here's Boo. So with all these little blankets out, we had a bit of a slumber party last night. I was laying here watching TV, and I put these out for the cats, and Boo was hanging out with me, and Simba was hanging out. And, uh, yeah, it's funny, because um, with the crinkly blankets, I don't know if it's that they don't like them or what, but Boo walks on them in slow motion. Look where Boo's sitting. He's sitting right next to the crunchy jar. For breakfast today, the cats are having homemade raw food with homemade chicken broth mixed in. They're having a drizzle of baby food mixed with homemade chicken broth over the top. They're having one of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites crumbled on top of their food, and they are each having a handful of crunchies. What's the matter, Boo? Sometimes Boo likes to eat on his own. He and Simba got into a little bit of a squabble before I fed them the food today. And he and Splash sometimes, you know, have issues. Boo has a bit of an attitude sometimes. Like, he feels like he's superior to the other cats. And, you know, that's not good. But he does get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention from me. Um, you know, because he doesn't have the same interaction as the other cats have with each other. And because he is currently under observation, so he's been a bit spoiled yesterday, and I have to observe him again today, so looks like I'm staying home all day. Look at that, the cats are racing through their food, they're so hungry, or they just love the food. It's 10.04 a.m., and Boo just used the litter box, and... He urinated in the litter box, so I have to now see what size the pea clump is. Holy moly, guys, look at this pea clump. The one Boo made is the one on the left, like the really big one. This is great. I've never been so happy to scoop up a pea clump before, but I had to like watch him use the litter box to know like where he was going because obviously other cats could have used it overnight. And yeah. That big one was where he was just peeing, so it looks like his urinary issues are resolved right now. I mean, we definitely know he does not have a blockage because I definitely saw him and I heard him peeing. Um, but yeah, that's a really nice size pee clump and uh, good for Boo. I'm going to continue him on the herbs that I've been giving him. I've been also putting cranberry powder in their foods, so I'm really happy about this. I opened the back door and I knocked on it and look who showed up, it's Hydrox. Hello Hydrox. Today for breakfast, Hydrox is getting three scoops of homemade raw food and I added a bunch of chicken broth and I think I added too much because 
it's like really soupy, but he should enjoy it. And Boo says, what's going on here? I just put the food outside right here for Hydrox and he was approaching it very slowly and it looked like he was like looking, is anyone around? And then just when he was about to get to it, he like ran away. So um, he didn't even taste it, didn't even really get close to it. I don't know if he thought like another animal was gonna come after him, I don't know. Hydrox, you want breakfast or what? Go get your food. I moved it to the other side of the patio. Okay, go get it. Go get it, Hydrox, you could get it. Okay, I just put it here, like, near the chairs so he could see it. This is in his line of sight, so hopefully he'll come down and eat it. I have a box of tissues that I was just about to throw away because I used the last tissue. And I realized that the opening on top is, like, the perfect size for a cat's paw. So, um, there's usually plastic on the top with just, like, a slit for tissues. So I cut the plastic out, and I put a few of these freeze-dried treats in there and I gave it to the cats and Simba and Stella are busy trying to figure it out which is good which is what I want you know even though they have several uh, toys that feed them treats that I you know sometimes rotate in in the summer it's hard to use anything that feeds treats because of the ant issue and to keep ants out of the house you know you can't really leave any food lying around and when you put dry food in these treat feeders, if the cat doesn't eat it right away, then it can attract bugs. So uh, even though they have several uh, treat feeders, sometimes it's good to just, you know, give them something different uh, to keep their brains active. Uh, you know, something new to figure out, something new to play with. Even if it's just something small and disposable like this one. So they'll sit here for a while and try to figure it out. Maybe they'll get the treats out. Maybe they won't. I don't know, we'll see. I just made some homemade baby food for the cats. This is a food processor and I put some chicken breast in it along with some chicken broth and it's made like a puree. This is a chicken breast that was in the soup yesterday and that's what I used. I just put a little bit on a plate. Let's see if Boo will eat it. Boo's been, he's been resting on the bed. So this is homemade baby food, which is basically just chicken and chicken broth that have been pureed in a food processor. And it looks like Boo likes it, which is great. Um, what I can do if I want to add additional nutrition to this is um, add some of the, uh, the dry mix that I put in the raw cat food. But to me, I, I think this would be a good replacement um, for the baby food that I buy. And then, like, if I want to give Boo some herbs um, or some cranberry or, you know, a supplement, I could just mix it into this. Instead of spending a dollar or a dollar and a half per 
you know, little jar of baby food. It's just so much more economical to make your own. And Boo likes it. I think this has Boo's seal of approval. There you go, Boo. And it's very, obviously very moist and wet, so that is good for him. He's still in observation today. And in rest and relaxation mode. Okay, Boo, good job. Good job. Let's see if Stella will eat it. Will Stella like it? She should. She's trying it. It's very good, Stella. Very good for you, Stella. You can finish it. It's just chicken and broth. So what I want to do with this, it's okay still, let's move it around. What I would like to do with this is put this in jars, like smaller jars, and put some in the refrigerator and most of it in the freezer. So that way I'll have it. And, you know, once again, this is not a complete meal for a cat. It does not have complete nutrition because it's just some breast meat or some drumstick meat with chicken broth. Um, but it is a nice little snack or a topping or a treat. And um, if I add more nutrition to it, it would be more, more like a complete meal. But I only want to use it as a, like a snack or a treat or a topping. And once again, only do this with uh, meat and broth that is not loaded up with salt and pepper and um, spices and you know things that cats don't like. When I made the soup, it was really only chicken with one carrot and one stalk of celery and water. Good job, Stella. I gave some to Splash. It looks like Splash likes it too. I think the reason why Splash eats so fast is because he has a really wide tongue. I don't know if you can see that or if you can notice it, but compared to the other cats, he has a, a wider tongue. I couldn't find Simba, but here he is. Simba, you want to try the new baby food? Or the new cat food? It's just chicken and broth. Here. I know. You want to try it? Everyone else likes it. Are you going to like it? I'm holding the plate. Simba. Simba. Simba, eat the food. Come on.
this is all of the pureed chicken that I just made minus of what the cats ate. So I have three of these uh, eight ounce mason jars and then I have two four ounce mason jars. These two small ones are going in the refrigerator. These three larger ones are going in the freezer. I left room, uh, I left headspace in these so when they freeze they will expand and they should not break the glass jars. Now this is a typical jar of baby food. This is a 2.5 ounce jar of baby food. Um, if you're lucky you could find these selling for a dollar um, and then they sell anywhere between a dollar and a dollar fifty. Now this is 2.5 ounces. Four ounces, four ounces, so this is eight ounces. So this is like three. These two are basically the equi the equivalent of like three of these. And we and these are eight ounces each, so let's just say they're the equivalent of three of these. So that would be three, six, nine, twelve. I just saved myself anywhere from twelve dollars to eighteen dollars, depending on how much these are selling for. Now the ingredients in Gerber are ground chicken, water, and cornstarch. And the ingredients in this homemade baby food is chicken and chicken broth. This is the Beech Nut Classics baby food, and the ingredients in the Beech Nut are finely ground chicken and chicken broth. So the ingredients in this Beech Nut Classics baby food are exactly the same ingredients that I have in this homemade baby food. The main difference between the beech nut baby food and the Gerber baby food is the consistency because Gerber adds cornstarch. It is a smoother consistency. Uh, however, the beech nut is more natural um, and if I had to choose between beech nut and Gerber, I would choose beech nut. Uh, unfortunately, around here, it's harder to find in the stores. But my top choice would be to make homemade because it was super easy and super cheap. It's 1.05 p.m. and Boo and I were laying on the bed watching the Brady Bunch. And he's going to take a nap and I'm going to go out and run a few errands. And he's still under observation, but while he's resting, I'm going to get a few things done. Okay, boo? Okay. You be comfortable. You rest. You be comfortable. Just rest, okay? Okay. It's 5.21 p.m. And I'm cooking in the kitchen because I have another one of those giant squashes that I need to make something with. And Stella's laying by the back door. It is 6.32 p.m. right now and I'm still on litter patrol with Boo. Um, he just used the litter box. I'm gonna scoop it out to see uh, you know, what's going on there. Right, Boo? How you doing, Boo? So today, um, what I did was I went to a local pet store because I knew they sell these scoops. These are the fastest scoops in the world. Um, I think it's called It's the Scoop. Uh, the brand is kcat, k-cat.com. Hello, Boo. It says they are fastest dustless and durable and they're made out of um, like stainless steel or chrome I don't know exactly but they're metal scoops and this is what they look like I've been using one for a very long time now and I only have one and because of what was happening with Boo the other night where he was using litter boxes every 10 minutes um, what I did was I put a a plastic bag and a litter scoop uh, upstairs as well as downstairs. Normally I just keep the litter scoops downstairs and then like once a day I go around to all the litter boxes and scoop them out. Um, but what I realized is that I absolutely hate all of the other litter scoops that I have because this one works so well. This one is so fast. Like it saves so much time 
Basically, all you have to do is scoop and lift. There's no sifting. There's no like moving it back and forth and waiting for the litter to sift through it. Um, it's so fast and it works so good. Um, and it's really strong and durable. So I went, I purchased another one today. Um, they're a little pricey. It's $19.99, which is, you know, a bit much for a litter scoop, but it works so well, it lasts forever. And um, yeah, so this is what I'm going to use as I scoop out Boo's litter box. I just grabbed a fresh. Uh, bag and um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed uh, that he's uh, peeing like normal again because he really hasn't used the litter box at all since he went earlier today which was right after breakfast. Okay not to be gross but this is what Boo just did so I'm really happy that it's another normal sized pee clump. And this is what you want to look for if you think something is abnormal with your cat. These are about the size of the pea clumps that Boo was leaving in all of the litter boxes the other night. Um, you know, they're about the size of like a marble or a, or a large almond or something like that. Um, that's about the size of them. And every time he'd use the litter box, I'd scoop it out and I'd find something small like this. So um, if a cat is doing that repeatedly, you definitely want to go have them checked out, um, especially if they're a male cat because uh, they could be prone to blockages. The litter is all cleaned out, but let me show you how great this litter scoop is. So I'm just going to scoop and lift. Do you see how fast and easy that is? Scoop and lift. And if there's anything in the litter box, it would just stay in here. Now let's compare that to this other litter scoop that I have. So we'll scoop it. And do you see how slow that is? And then you have to like sift it. Scoop, lift, wait, or then sift it. It takes forever. So, so if you're like me and you're trying to cram about 36 hours into each 24 hour day, and uh, you know you don't have a whole lot of time to spend scooping litter definitely check out that other litter scoop i will put a link to it in the description for this video right now it is almost 11 pm how are you feeling boo so boo had a good day he used the litter box twice that i saw and he made two big pea clumps. And I don't know if he made any poopies today. He could have when I was not noticing. Um, but I know that, um, you know, the night, the day before, um, when he was in the litter box, he pooped multiple times, so I don't know if he's a bit constipated right now or what, but um, he had a very good day today, and um, the day before, you know, once we got home from the hospital, it was good also, and I've been taking it very easy on him. Um, I haven't really, I haven't really been, like... Uh, playing with him in such a way that he's going to be running around like crazy or anything like that because I really just want him to relax and heal and um, You know so far he's been doing that and He got some kidney herbs uh, with his dinner and then tonight for crunchies uh, The cats got less crunchies than they normally get and they also got some homemade baby food with them and um, I put a little bit of CBD oil in the baby food so I used seven drops which is like nothing yesterday I gave them each seven drops individually and today I put seven drops in the um, container of baby food that I then split up uh, four ways so they got a much lower quantity of it um, but I, I think it does help relax them because I noticed that they're all nice and relaxed this evening. 
and here's Boo, and Boo looks very relaxed too. And uh, so that's that's what's going on now. I'd like to get a good night's sleep. I have to be up at six, so if I fall asleep soon, I'll get seven hours. Good night, Boo. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.